Jonathan Lee Riches. I want everyone to listen to this exclusive interview I had with the mother of a missing 30 year old who went missing in Boynton Beach, Florida, Palm Beach County. 30 year old Jacqueline Reyes was staying with a family member, Boynton Beach, Florida, got in a fight and an argument with the family member that she was staying with around June 1st, 2022, and then she vanished. The mother has a lot of theories, speculation. She shares with me her thoughts. Exclusive interview with her mother. You gotta check this out. Jacqueline, AKA Jackie Reyes, still missing. Where is Jackie? Check out this interview. Good morning, Jacqueline. Hi, it's Jonathan Riches. Hi. Hi. Hi, thanks for taking my call and um, you know, thank you for willing to share your story about your daughter so I can put this out there and try to help find your daughter. And, I yeah. am, and I'm praying it's for you. been living hell. <laughs> I don't even know where to start, Jacqueline, you know. Um, I just don't understand how Boynton Beach and nobody out there doesn't know anything about this. So you're from Arizona right now. You're living in Arizona. Right. Right, like that, Arizona. <sighs> okay, so let's let's start. Your 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 daughter is thirty years old. Same uh -huh. same name as you. You guys have the same right. name. Why did you name her right. after? Uh, why did you just decide to name her after you? I think just because she was my baby, and <laughs> you know, I was named after my mom too. But, oh, okay. You know, I just I just had a special connection, I guess, because you see, I was a single mom with mm -hmm. three kids. Okay. And I raised her as a baby on my own. Oh, wow. Okay. They were just, yeah, there was just a special bond, you know, and it's like, because with all three of my girls, see, there is a, an age gap difference, like, because my youngest is 30, my oldest is 40. Okay. So, you know, yeah. it's just always been, you know, she was my baby, and it was kind of, you know, because she was my last child. I couldn't have any more kids okay. after her. Yeah, and you, so there was just that connection. And you raised her in Arizona. Yeah, Blackstaff, Arizona. So when I saw some media outlets put out that your daughter is missing in Boynton Beach, um, how did she end up in Florida from Arizona? Okay, um, it started off where when she left Blackstaff, Arizona, she went off and did her little venture off into um, L.A. Mm -hmm. That's where she started her life you know, is in L.A. What was she and doing there? What was she doing there? She was doing some modeling, doing, you know, different things. She did some music videos. Mm -hmm. She did one with Mac Miller, and she did one with a group called Pac D. Okay. You know, because she was into the rap stuff. Yeah, I I've heard of know? Mac Miller. Okay. And then also Grey's Anatomy, there's a little snippet of her there. So she was doing these odd jobs, you know, like mm -hmm. as an extra on you know sets and stuff like that and she's done a lot of modeling because there's some model pictures that pop up and there's other things i'm sure she did in la but i i just don't know yeah see, that's one thing with my children mm -hmm. we always stayed in contact to make sure we were safe yeah they didn't hear from you why didn't we hear from you but as far as a private life i never pushed and shoved Okay, you know, so you, I, you were just totally supportive, you know, you just let her be a free spirit and do what she wanted her dreams to right. be. Right, 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 because she lived, grew up in a small town, mm -hmm. and she wanted to go out and venture, and then COVID hit. Yeah. And, well, right before COVID, her uh, adopted father, my husband that passed away two and a half years ago, mm -hmm. um, he passed away, and then COVID hit. And that's when everything shut it down. Yeah. So she's been trying to get her foot replanted. So but she's she she's in her late, late teens. Yeah. When she was around her late teens, I never did I ne denied her anything about her biological family, her biological father, all that. You know. Yeah. Because I don't believe in denying and, and hiding her away. You know. So I know that she's made a few visits out in Florida, but I don't know anything about these family. Mm -hmm. But I do know her her biological father. He lived in Oklahoma. 
Okay. And we talk about two times a year. I mean, we remain good friends still. Mm -hmm. um, he just passed away, too. He okay. passed away, it was either February or March. I can't remember which month. I saw a name floating but, around, but, Denzel Dixon. Is that Denzel? Yeah, yeah. Okay. That That's her biological father. But then when the pandemic hit, her sister, her middle sister, Carrie, lived in New Mexico. Well, she's in Nevada now. Mm -hmm. but she lived in New Mexico. So that's how she went up in, um, because things were rough because after the pandemic. Yeah. And so she lived with her sister for a year in New Mexico. And then she had a, I guess she couldn't get her feet planted in L.A. Mm -hmm. I don't know the details because, like I said, we don't invade each other. Yeah. Um, but we still kept in touch. So she went to L.A. And then from L.A. to this year now. That's when she went up six months in, over at Florida to yeah. go stay with family. I don't know all the details of why that happened. And also, I've had to stress with people mm -hmm. um, because I'm getting, it doesn't happen hardly at all. Maybe like half a percent of people, you know. I have to keep explaining to people. Okay. My daughter did something stupid, but it was clear. All charges were clear. She okay. just did something stupid and drove the rental all the way to Florida. That's. I was going to ask you that. I was. I, I saw that, and we'll we'll talk right. about that. I, you know, I, I saw that. You know, she was arrested, but I read the police report. She was arrested in um, Palm Beach County uh, for having right. a rental car. Uh, uh, it seems like she just didn't return it in time, and they reported it stolen. And right. you know, and then eventually the charges were dropped, and that was earlier this year, correct? That's correct. Yeah. I yeah, saw that. I had someone make a really nasty remark about that. I said, how dare you? You know, she is not a criminal. Don't label my daughter as a criminal. She made a mistake. Yeah. You know? Understandable. <laughs> we all made mistakes in life. Understandable, yes. So she's in Palm Beach, or she's in Palm Beach County, Boynton Beach. Um, she's staying. Right. She, That's where her aunt lives. So her aunt is Joy, right? Right. So tell me, uh, so tell me. And that picture you showed me, uh, yes. by the way, it's kind of weird because she hates cops. So I don't know if that's just a disguise she had, or I don't know much about her, but it's kind of weird that she was, I, I was shocked when you showed me that. Yeah. Because she hates the cops. Well, who's that, Joy? Yeah. Oh, wow. You know, I, I noticed that Joy was, <laughs> um. She has a history of being in a law firm. She worked for a legal firm in the past. Uh, so, I, so I saw a lawyer. And the reason why I checked is because, again, trying to find your daughter, trying to find out what happened to right, your daughter. Right, right. So I'm reading report. Well, yeah, and that's all I want. And, and, you know, with her, I cannot – she is so shady about everything. And that's why all the suspicions on her, and she doesn't get it, you know. We're talking about joy, why right? Why you waited so long. You know? Okay, so let me ask you something. It, I've read that your daughter was reported, or she Joy is claiming she got in a fight with your daughter in her home on June 1st, or July 1st. June 1st, right? June 1st. June 1st, correct. And that was actually, uh, she, see, this is the date that would get a little confused because, you know, at midnight the date changes. And it would be the second. So okay, so that's it what one thirty in the morning on the second. Okay, that's what I was going to ask you because I saw two. I saw two flyers, and one was saying the first, and another one was saying at like one something in the morning on the second. Yeah, so, I know we get a little confused about that, you know. Okay, so we're talking the first into the early mornings of the second, June second. Right. And you spoke to your daughter. The day before, correct? Or May 31st? Uh, May, I think it was May 31st, but then uh, in the morning was one of our friends. I don't know if they talked, but I do know there was text message exchange or something. I forget. But there was some contact June 1st that morning. Was everything fine? That's why we didn't have any red flags, you know? So, we thought she was fine. So no, 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 nothing, no, something like she got in arguments or fights or any expressing any no. problems, depression, anything? Nope. None at all. I mean, this is so weird because if you read the magazine um, called Honeysuckle? Yeah. If you read that magazine, 
was about her. You could see she was trying to reestablish herself. Mm-hmm. And she had a job, and she didn't show up for a job either. When didn't she show up for – where did she work? She worked at a, a Cariba, at the Italian restaurant. Carabas? Carabas. Yeah, yeah. Carabas. It's, it's an Italian it's, fast food – or it's Italian uh, – like it's similar to an Olive Garden. Right. Right. Uh, so she didn't show up for work. I don't know if she was scheduled on the second or third, but she didn't show up for work. That's another red flag right there. Okay. <clears throat> and – what I understand is what they said over there about her, and I'm not sure where I got the comment from, um, but they said she's a very quiet person, keeps mm-hmm. to herself, and that's that's who she is, you know? She just she does keep to herself and all that, you know? Because she didn't know anybody in Florida yet. And, mm-hmm. oh, and I forgot, she was also, besides doing that, she was – Working hard doing online courses online too. Online courses for what? Um, I think see I couldn't understand exactly what she was doing. Uh, just um, oh, what do you call it, guy? I I can't even think of how she phrase it. Uh, it's something to do with the law, I guess. Something in that aspect. I just can't remember. Interesting. Now, um, my brain gets scrambled. Yeah. Well, you. I mean, you're trying to find your daughter, and you're upset. Now, here, here's what I find disturbing is um, that your daughter, you know, Joy is claiming she got into a fight with your daughter, and you didn't find exactly. out, you didn't find out about this till the end of June. Yes. And that's what pissed me off. You know what her excuse is, and that's a fun. I'm sorry, but it's a bunch of bullshit. Yeah. Because when we, because what happened was, they were saying they were looking for me. They were looking, why are you looking for me? Look for my daughter. But what happened was, on the 28th, mm-hmm. I get a phone call from the uncle. And I thought, why is he calling, you know, because I, I was just waking up and I saw my phone. So I text my daughter, why is your uncle calling me? Okay, no response, red flag. Then I started calling my other daughters. I said, we've got a problem. Have any of you heard from her? No. July 1st, that's when she said she went and did a police report, and she said the cops weren't taking her seriously. I called the same day, that evening, talked to an officer, and his response to me was he was doing me a favor by taking this report. But I had to label her in danger, Mm -hmm. that she has... um, anxiety and depression and yeah. then on top of it he needed a signature or he can file a police report so she he, um he had to go to the aunt's house and um i think you got some of that text message where she says i'm tired i need to go to bed blah 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 bull crap wow my daughter's missed it and you're tired you're worried about going to bed i struggle with a serious illness and i'm exhausted and you're worried about your sleep yeah. And you're worried about cops at your house? What? Why do you not want cops at your house? She was pissed about having the cops coming to her house. Wow. And I'm like, I was like, are you freaking kidding me? You know, what is your deal? And then the comment I keep getting, she keeps putting that out there. And I'm thinking, you're a bunch of bull. Because, for one, when I talk to you, I haven't talked to her since. But when she said, oh, I do have your number, oh, red flag, hello. Yeah, yeah. And so did Carl. Carl had my number. Do you people have my number? Don't tell me you were trying to find me to get a hold of me. And don't tell me, you know, that you were out looking for you. Nobody knows about her. And you are, you know, because, she's, because of the comment about this is my private life. Nobody has any business looking for me. We're looking for my her, you know? And I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? So she's more concerned about her and, and being bothered. And, I mean, it's your daughter. <laughs> I know. That's all I'm hearing. And then she comes back with the top story of, oh, I've been looking for a whole month. Oh, you didn't file a police report, you know? Because, see, I was under the impression she had filed a, 
the way she talked. Oh, I did try to file the police. Went, no, you didn't do that until the first, until I started pushing damn hard on everybody. And I've been pushing hard ever since the first to get my story out. And you know what? It's out there, lady. And I'm sorry. You, the way you act, you wonder why people are so suspicious about you? Yeah. You're doing, I mean, she did the Dateline interview, and then CBS 13, she did an interview. Hello? Do you hear what she's saying? Yeah, you know? and that's and what I wanted I to thought, ask you. Like, uh, it doesn't make sense. Like, her thing, she's claiming, yeah. she's claiming, okay, so Joy, where your daughter was staying, is claiming that they they got in a fight on the, on the first, you know this, and... You know, she's claiming that she just, your daughter just left in the middle of the night with her backpack and her exactly. laptop. And that's it. Yeah. And her stuff is still at the, and then this is what kills me. Her stuff is still at the house. And then there was a statement, I don't know where the statement was, said that usually she needs to go cool off. Okay, well, she had her cool off period. Why didn't they have to introduce something then? Yeah, th that's you know, what I'm asking. Why would that. it take 30 days almost for her to file a police report? I know. With her stuff then, still, with her stuff still in her house. Yeah, and I, and this is the other problem. The cops, I asked them the other day. I said, that, and this is what pisses me off. And they said, I have to, in order for them to get a search warrant, there has to be a felony criminal charge. So, you're looking for my daughter, the cops, the detectives, but. You have no warrant, no right to go get my daughter's stuff because maybe there's something important in there before she destroys everything. Well, yeah. You know? And, and But they're not doing it. They're not doing it because there's no felony charge. Unbelievable. And I'm like, wow, really? Because this woman has changed her story so many times because... I don't think this was in the, or, um, it might have been in, in, on one of the Instagram, because she doesn't know I'm watching everything and I'm saving everything. Yeah. But then she makes a comment that wasn't said before, that she slammed the door. That wasn't said before. Who slammed the door? Your daughter. Yeah. That she said, yeah, Joyce said that. She slammed the door. But that wasn't in Dateline's report or in it, you know. I'm like, now you're saying she slammed the door? What, what was what, going on here? What was their fight about? What were they fighting about on the first? Um, they were fighting over bills. Something about laundry, of all things. Like who was doing the laundry? or I, I, I read I something. Guess she, I guess my daughter was washing all the time and caused her uh, electric bill to go up. So they got in an argument, and she's claiming that she just your daughter just grabbed her backpack, laptop, and just left in the middle of the night. Right. That doesn't, to me, that doesn't sound, you know, considering, wh wh how else is she changing her story? What, what else is she saying that doesn't make sense to you or disturbs you? Um, well, the other thing is, one of her, my daughter's friends, okay, this is what the cops are telling me. They're saying the, the phone that my daughter had was her, uh, her Aunt Joy's phone, okay? It's a government phone. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You know, if you could help me with this, but if a phone is turned off, wouldn't it say the phone is out of service or something? Um, I don't know about the technology and how that actually works. I mean, I would, you know, assume, I don't know. I can't answer that. I don't know, to be honest. Yeah, because what was weird was I got, um, well, I showed you that letter, too. I sent that letter. But what's weird about the phone situation is, for one, that letter said the phone had been used in uh, that because the letter came in June. So that's, you know, the whole, it says if you don't use this phone, blah, 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 it'll be turned off. So that obviously tells you she had been using the phone. Yeah. But then one of her friends know the technology. I've got so many of our, she had friends that she grew up for 25 years. Yeah. One of them had the technology to know about pinging a phone. Says the phone is still located around that area. Oh, wow. Do you know where? Yeah. Out it's just somewhere by where she lived. You know? So, and that, so that's, that's weird. That's interesting. I know I do have a lot of questions. Like, who else lived in the house with with Joy and your daughter when she was staying there? I had. 
and that's the thing I don't know. I don't see. I don't know any of these people. I knew nothing. Okay, so when you got that text from an uncle, right? Later on in right. June, that, who was it he? It wasn't a text. It was a call. It was a call, but he didn't leave a message. So what was he saying? No, no, I'm saying he didn't leave a message. Oh, he didn't leave a message. Okay. I never, I ne this whole time, I've never talked to the uncle. Do you know all. his name? Um, his name is Carl. Carl. Do you know Carl who? Do you, do you, is it? Uh, Dixon. Carl Dixon. Carl Dixon. Okay, so. <sighs> I do know my daughter had a really strange cough, and I don't know if it's going to show up on the prod, pro I can never say the word, cat, that me and my daughter and one of her friends did an interview with what's called Murder, Murder News, mm -hmm. and my daughter brought something up that I didn't know about, was that Carl, um, I, I think my daughter had a very vague conversation with him. And he said a weird comment that thought, oh, good, she's alive. What the hell is that about, you know? Yeah. That was just for my daughter. Have you tried reaching back to Carl to get some more insight or clarification or anything? I'm back in a way because I do not want to be, if the detectives are doing the job, what they should be, but they're not, I'm, I'm trying my best to see what these people are doing. You know, because they're claiming they're looking for it, but I haven't seen anything. How, um, so did they say they done any searches around that home or in that area around Joy's home? Uh, yeah, they're saying they did. I, I think that's a joke. Where did they say they searched? They didn't, t they didn't say. They just said, We're, we've been searching for her, blah, blah, blah. I get, you'll see on those some of those text messages I sent. You know, like, you're searching for her? Uh, hello? Yeah, I just did, what, um, what was oh, her name? Um, I'm sorry, I'm going to blank on her name. Vanessa. Yes. I sent her a bunch of text messages. Did she send them yeah, on yeah, she. Yeah, we've been corresponding about this. She brought she brought this to my attention. Um, she made a video right. about your daughter on YouTube, um, on her YouTube channel. I'm like, oh, wow, I never even heard about this. And just the, oh, yeah. the facts <laughs> and situations is so suspicious it's like wow because you're a grieving mother you're all the way out in arizona there's limited things that you can do way out there while this oh, yeah. is going on I, in florida I, I deal with the it, um i deal with multiple sclerosis i'm sorry and it's gotten pretty bad and so i'm very i'm on breathing tube and i mean oh oxygen, man you know? i'm sorry I'm, so you this, can't this, even get out I, there i can't travel wow yeah. i'm sorry it, i'll be there in a heartbeat even her sister's the one in Nevada, she's got two little ones. My one in Washington, has got two little ones. We're like, uh, and we don't have the money for this. Yeah. And so it kind of put us in limbo, and they're grieving, too. They're just, their emotions are all over the place. I mean, they're just, we're, we're all just anxiety to the roof. You know, we're just, it, it's just been so freaking hard hard on all of us i'm sorry you know because of how close we are you know and i'm just <laughs> i just had um my caretaker there was a screw up with my uh, appointment this morning yeah and if you're not on time one minute late they cancel no oh, wow. well apparently there was a screw up about picking me up and by the time i got i mean we just rushed me in there i literally i had a breakdown complete meltdown I, at that point i was my heart was over 100 my <laughs> yeah i just lost it i mean i'm calm right now because i took a couple of anxiety medicines right now yeah because i knew i was going to talk to you and i just got home i gotta take some anxiety medicine or i'm not going to function because it's yeah like, like i said it, i wanted the nurses over there i wanted i reached out to you because i was like well you know i i run a um true crime uh youtube channel and i said well let me interview the mom like i'm doing and and get the message out there you know you describing you know what you've described to me i mean let me ask you something about joy is there anything else that makes you fishy or suspect of joy the last person she just was because, allegedly with just because of she waited so long and i'm sorry but you waited this long and then you're making comments like I've been searching for her all this time. 
how are you searching for her? You can't even answer that. I don't understand that part. You keep saying, I love her and blah, blah. We were really getting close and all this stuff. You know what? I When I talk to my daughter, she sometimes, she said to me that it, she kind of flusters me and stuff like that, you know. So they fought you know, before? They all over the place. Have they fought before? Oh, this is the, oh when I talk to my, you know, um, when uh, my daughter, you know, because we, we stay in contact all the time. Yeah. And I would say it was probably in about a month or now. I don't know, God, where am I at? Uh, probably back in May. I know there's a couple of times because um, I know she wasn't completely happy living there, you know, because it was a very toxic situation because the way I. OK, let me back up a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, the last time I talked to Denzel was in January. OK, OK. We were both shocked that she went to go stay with her aunt joy we thought it was like odd that she stayed with her because denzel knows his sister's little quack you know yeah. at times because what half this family um the dixon family mm -hmm. it seems to be very toxic because joy and carl do not speak to each other mm -hmm. and then also which i already knew this when jacqueline was when she went out there a um, long time ago. There's also the friction with Carl and his wife. His wife has a lot of tension with Jacqueline. So, and then um, mm -hmm. the other thing that was so weird about this is as much as I talk, I've talked twice a year with Denzel, and we, we spent a good hour or whatever. Yeah. But what's weird about this I don't know what the hell these people are talking about, but there was mention of money. What money? Money. So it's like Joey is trying to make Carl look bad. She kept um, in one of those texts that Carl is, you know, I'm told, I think she told me too, that he thinks that she's not entitled to it because she doesn't really know the family. I'm like, what? Interesting. And then, you know, just all these weird things that are going on about talking about money okay oh carl so, should be a suspect because i think it was in one of the texts i sent you that carl should be a suspect suspect what are you people talking about oh wow you know now it, now, now speaking of yeah. now money like was your daughter renting from joy like did joy get any money out of your daughter for for your daughter staying with her did she charge rent she that's the confusing part. I don't know because I know she was just trying to get settled. And she did have a job for three weeks before she disappeared. Mm -hmm. um, and so, and she was doing online classes. So, and then she was ready to start. Like I said, you have to read that magazine, Honey, Honeysuckle. And she was starting to do some more business with them, you know. They, in fact, it says on that magazine, May 31st. They were going to contact her and do a shipment to her, but then she disappeared. Wow. Um, as far as the police, so the police, you're saying the police can't get access to any of her property. No laptop, no cell phone, no wallet, nothing. Nothing. They need a warrant. They're claiming to get this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm thinking to myself, I don't know what exactly, what, it could be just clothes. I don't know. Who knows? There could be a notebook. There could be something there. Have they to asked? Clue what's going on? Have they asked Joy to just voluntarily give that stuff to them so they can look through her stuff? Um, <laughs> that's a good question. You know, I, I'm like I told you when I showed you those texts. These cops are being very vague with me. That's 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 sad. You know, they should be very open and transparent with you. Um, yeah. And, and the main reason, because I didn't sign the missing person report. How in the hell was I supposed to sign a missing person's report when I live in Flagstaff, Arizona? Yeah. Um, I mean, Joy should not have the power of anything, period. So we, you don't know if she's actually, I mean, she's claiming, I saw on Dateline, you know, it's claiming the story about the fight over the laundry um, and you know when yeah, she left, yeah. but has she spoken to the police and gave her side? The police 
According to one of the, te- I think I sent you one. Uh, I think the police have talked to her a couple times, but I don't know what's been said. And they haven't went in that house or have any of her property. Nope. Wow. Um. And then they're claiming. Yeah, because the last. Um, hold on, I gotta pull up my habit because I'm pretty sure I sent that one to you. Because um, <clears throat> I asked officer about her stuff, and the comment it gave me. Hold on, I gotta pull it up on my tablet. I was very irritated. Um, right here, here it is. Okay. They said, I received the dental record, um, cause we were talking about the dental records. Oh, get this. Dental record. Um, cause I had to look back, um, I think there was a, I have to go back through all my text messages. But when she requested for the dental record, mm-hmm. okay, because there is a body that's not identified. And so when, if they're taking this case so seriously, why did it take six days to ask for my daughter's dental records? Yeah. I don't, I don't understand that. Now there was Just, a delay after that and that was on the dentist part. Cause I called, see, and I know this because I asked specifically when I talked to the dentist office. I want to know when you actually got that email. When they told me that email what day, that was days after they asked me that they needed to get her dental records. Wow. So that's and I'm thinking, that's crazy. Yeah. If you want dental records, you should be getting them the same day. You yeah. know? And I don't under, I don't know how long after you get dental records, how long, now this part I don't know, how long does it take to identify the person with the dental record? So you're saying there was a body found out there? Yes. On June, okay, June 26th, there was a body found. Where at? June 27th, an article came out. I overlooked that until someone pointed it out to me on on TikTok, okay? Mm -hmm. I, for some reason, because I've been flooded with so much going on, I started to look at that and how weird June 26th, a body's found. June 27th, it comes out in the papers. June 28th, I get a hang-up call from her uncle. Totally weird. So have you, have they identified the body publicly? That's what I'm trying to tell you. They are, have not, um, cause some of my texts I told you, uh, hold on, I got two different texts here. Um, let me pull up this conversation. Uh, uh, oh, I might have not send this one to you. I'll have to read that one in a minute. Um, come on. Uh, let's see. Where did they say the story? Oh, see, I, this is the comment I made when I asked about this, and this was on Saturday at 7.30. It says, this story has been popping up. It's only 18 miles from her aunt's house. Have they identified this person? And the comment from the sheriff's department says, I am looking into this. Thank you. And who and then, who, who is that with the sheriff's department? Huh? What 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 sheriff is it? Who's what sheriff deputy said that to you? It, it's uh, this. I have two detectives. I've got Detective Householder mm-hmm. and uh, Detective Evel. Okay. And um, Householder is the one that made that comment. I uh, see what I get from her. The other one. Okay. I think I figured out why the calls weren't coming. Okay. No, was it? Okay, I understand your, oh, um, Detective, you know, I, I think, you know, I'm still tr- scrambling here, but Detective Evel, I understand your frustration. She's as, she's as frustrated as well, talking about the aunt. My best advice is to try to be civil as you can with each other for Jackie's sake. As far as the sheriff's office goes, we don't get involved in family dynamics during this investigation. I know she is upset that her address is being posted because she is fear that someone may try to come after her. I'm like, okay. Yeah. And that's from the detective. Like, what is she afraid of that's going to come after her, you know? Has the t- <laughs> detectives like, asked you, like, who her friends are or who could have done something to her? Have they asked you that? I've had very little. Uh, let me go to my email. Because I've had very little contact with these people. 
So they haven't um, even asked everybody. you questions like, hey, uh, you know, what's some of her passcodes maybe to some of her maybe like debit cards or credit cards or phone, you know, that they could maybe look now, in. They haven't asked there you. is one key, and I've been keeping in hush-hush because I don't want him. I don't want to impede on their investigation. Yeah. But all this time they've been waiting for, um, I guess, her bank thing. Mm-hmm. And I barely squeezed it out of her because she was supposed to tell me. But apparently, her debit card, there were some charges in June. So somebody's spending her money. Interesting. So, yeah. So they would obviously know where that's being used. And hopefully they're reviewing surveillance of the location where that... I know. Exactly. Because... They're not telling me. They're they're being very or or it could be your daughter using it. Well, this is what they told me. If it was my daughter, and she truly did hide out, which is weird, and and if all the because even her friends said it would be weird. Mm -hmm. They still let me know she's okay. That's what the detective told me. We you know if that was the case, we will be at least notified that she's okay yeah exactly like she just doesn't want to be around people yeah. but she's alive so this part is telling me no they haven't verified it with her because i haven't heard anything at all you know so and so yeah do you uh, does she have friends out there that in in, in boynton beach or in florida that you know no, about none of i none of i know of i don't know why she went to jacksonville first and then up to Boyton. That part is vague. I don't know. So she was in Jacksonville, Florida first before she went to Boynton Beach. Right. Right. But you don't know why she's there. What, it's been, that came out somewhere on my, I forget where, was messages. It, was it to meet a guy? It somebody? Like I hope I didn't send you. It looks like I didn't send all the emails because I got emails to um, Ebel. I mean, it's like the only kind of way they contact me, text messages. And emails. Mm -hmm. And I was like, are you freaking kidding me? And um, let's see. Uh, Let's see. Well, something was wrong with my phone. And I did get a hold of them, but they said they were trying to get a hold of me. But I had sent this to um, Ebel. They took to Ebel. Mm -hmm. And this would have been July 9th. What has been done to find my daughter... The stress is way too much for people being questioned. I'm so frustrated. Joy Dixon and Carl Dixon, have you questioned them? I don't know much about these people. Joy would go off and say that there's money that was supposed to go to her. I don't understand anything. Then Denzel, her father, passed, lived in Oklahoma. Too many unanswered um, question, um, answers. Is this is this a property still in America, where did, ah, I'm, I got some of my words twisted in there. Yeah. An answer. Is this property still in America? Where did he live? The most we talk about two times a year. My daughter would talk to him at, at times. He saw no signs of trouble when we, before we passed. Nobody saw any signs of trouble. The longer this goes on, it's getting harder. This is, is for me and my daughter's. Don't understand why you can't get information on the phone up until she stops using it. This scares the hell out of me for not having a phone not used is very something wrong. Did Joy wait so long reporting her missing? Something's very wrong. Something happened. She needs to be found. I am a mother who wants answers to my daughter. As you have see, she may have different looks. I need my... And whatever took her found is this family looked into your hu- you and my hu- my husband uh, oh okay found is this family looking into you my husband who passed away January 12th see my daughter and has lost two fathers she only knew her biological father for about 15 years she's been in Florida for at least three times that I know and so she re- was really not connected with the family even before Gentle passed. 
he has concerns about living with Anne. Joy, this is your niece. Why in the hell are you waiting so long? She was she was very loved by her sisters and friends, and I want answers. I'm afraid the more this goes on, it may be too late, and bury my husband. Don't want to have to bury my child. I'm sorry. So, I, I I'm, I'm so sorry. I, 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 I felt your pain when you were writing that. You yeah, know, I, I, mean, I, I feel your just desperation, <laughs> and, and, and you want answers. Um. Did uh, your daughter have a car out there in Florida? No, no. That was because, you know, what happened, you know. Yeah, she wasn't driving. She was walking. She did public transportation. That's what she told me. So is that how she got to uh, Carabas? Like, just walk to work? Yeah, yeah, Nobody yeah. Nobody took her? And um, th this is another thing from her. Okay, um, she has, from the other side, um, has two half-brothers. Uh-huh. And because um, I'm looking through my emails that I haven't sent, I got some emails that I guess I didn't send over. Sorry, I almost never on Facebook just seen this. I tried to find you online when Joy first told me. She didn't even know where Jackie was, and I could, couldn't find you. Honestly, I thought she went home, but had no way to get a hold of you or her sisters to find out. Nothing anyone has told me from Florida really makes sense to me. And I'm worried and frustrated because I don't really even know what I can do on my end. And my side of the family can't seem to get along for simple communication. I work basically two, six days a week. I've been stressed, as I know you are, because I don't have any answers. This doesn't make the slightest amount of sense. You can call me at such and such number if you want to talk to me about anything. I don't have much into offering any of this, either her or someone that knows her password read messages. But this was from, he lives in Nevada, uh -huh. um, her half-brother. And that's the one that says, um, also saying the same thing. It doesn't make sense what happened in Florida. No, it doesn't. Um, does, does Joy work? That, from what I understand, she was disabled. That's all I know. All right. So how old is she? Like she's in her 50s, 60s? Right around my age, yeah. I'm 60, so she's got to be somewhere around there. <sighs> did your daughter, um, did she drink or do drugs? Okay. My daughter, um, she does, because it's legal. Yeah. Um. She does set that there. That's what the business was that she was getting ready to work with. And she uh, does the seeds and stuff like that, you know? Yeah. But she also, you know, she do some edibles. If her, she didn't believe in drugs, okay? Yeah. Okay. Um, as far, you know, medica you know, to go get, uh, see a counselor and get medication for anxiety, depression, and all that stuff. So what she did was she would do the edibles to kind of help manage her anxiety and stress. That's how she managed it. Okay. And that's the thing I want people to realize. You know, she's not a druggie. She's taking something. It's just a different well, kind of medication in a different form, and it's legal. Do you, let me ask something. Like, do you think it's possible that, like Joy said, they got in a fight, and then, you know, do the fact that maybe she has anxiety, like she just – like panicked and had some sort of mental breakdown somewhere outside the house somewhere? She would have called me. The reason I know that, out of all the years that she's not lived at home now, mm -hmm. I've had calls at 1.30 in the morning, and I would talk to her, work her down, you know, if her anxiety was up. That's how close we got. Yeah. And so she wouldn't disappear without, you know. She would call me, Mom. I'm having this, blah, 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 blah. I would have to work with her and calm her down. And I do. I mean, call at 1.30 in the morning. How many families get children like that, you know, that just tells you how close we are. Yeah. You know, she knows to reach out to her mom if, her, if it's getting too much or something. I mean, that's the thing I've had to defend. Sometimes I, I sometimes just ignore the comments. Like I said, there's very few, but... Mm -hmm. It's just, we are close. 
and this is our family. This is who we are. You know, so don't try to, t- you know, try to twist anything around, you know? Yeah. It's like, you know, we are close. This is our family. And yeah. I take a call. My, you know, I take her calls. Anytime she's calling me at one thirty in the morning, okay, what's wrong? How, you know? Oh, so she's called you before late in the middle of the night. Lady. So she's called you before in the late, late, late in the middle of the night. <clears throat> she did, and not when she was at Joy's, but before. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah. if she had a problem, like in a sense, if she needed to go somewhere or had an imminent problem, she would have called you. Oh yeah, yeah. She would have called me, and. That, you know, have her tears, have her stressed out, you know, whatever is going on, you know, it, it's just, we would work it out, you know, for her. Yeah. I mean, that's just where we're at. And you I'm, know? I'm going to think, what about, what about her calling maybe an Uber or a Lyft or a taxi? Um, and that's the other thing I'm asking about. See, because I'm not getting no information, I don't know what they've done. All I keep, all I keep getting back from them. We're taking your daughter's case seriously. We're working on it. That's all I keep coming back with. Yeah. But oh, here, yeah, here's a comment. It says, I want to, um, this was July 18th. I want to assure you, um, as I'm talking, I'm trying to go through some emails. Uh huh. I want to assure you, your daughter's case is being taken seriously. I understand you are frustrated, but we are working constantly on this case. I will submit the photos into evidence. And I'm like, what photos for evidence? That yeah, what, what I, photos? I don't know what she's talking about. Huh. And then it says, I have spoken to Joe on several patients and we'll be contacting her again. So that's all I've got there on the 18th from Detective Evel. Interesting. Um, yeah, because you would think that they would like call the Ubers or check and see if any Ubers was around that home at the time that Joy is claiming she left that house. Yeah. Ubers, yeah, lifts, taxis, I, any service calls. I mean, tr- public transportation, I do not believe, is op- operational in the middle of the night. As far yeah, as like, I know, a bus. it is just, you know, the whole thing is really, really weird. Or, I mean, or, it's like. I mean, what's the neighborhood like? Is it a bad neighborhood that Joy lives in? This is the thing, because uh, if you look it up, Okay. It's, like I said, I've been on the internet nonstop. I'm trying yeah. to not freak out. Yeah, but you're doing what a mother you should do. On the internet, you're doing exactly that what a mother. Area yeah. Is in a bad area, but I like the fact that Joy says she lives in a safe neighborhood. Well, then when I look it up, it shows that it isn't. You know, there's a high rate of kidnappings and um, what is it? You know, just different things. You know. And you got to remember, look at the pictures of my daughter. Yeah. She would be a perfect person to be kidnapped for trafficking. So, so you're open to that scenario? Oh, yeah. I, we're all realizing that, it, that there's a possibility she's being trafficked. She could be dead or she's being trafficked. One of the two. That's like the only thing that explains everything is the fact that she was kidnapped and trafficking or she's dead somewhere. Okay. I mean, we yeah. So you don't think she's think purposely reality, hiding? You don't happened. think she's purposely hiding? No, I don't see any way. Yeah. Because even her friends are saying the same thing as we've been making statements. There is just it would not be normal for and, her to do something like this. And and Especially the f- as all the internet stuff I've been doing. Yeah. You gotta real. She would realize. Oh shoot! I better call my mom and calm her down. She knows how sick yes, I am. Yes, ex- absolutely. And 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 the police, how they keep responding to you. They're 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 investigating. If they thought she was just trying to purposely hide, they'd be like, they wouldn't be wasting at least any time at all, right? Right. And see, that's the thing. When they told me about, you know, that got the bank statement. Oops. I guess I lost you. Yeah, we got cut off. I might have pushed it on my... I was trying to open something. Yeah, you probably But what gets me is, you know, I can't remember the days. I know it was right at the first week of July or whatever it was. Whenever 
I don't know, Judge has been really slow about signing. You know, it has to be just a, all these stupid legal things they keep telling me. Mm-hmm. And because, and I agree. This is why I never pry on my children. But you must check in with your mama. Yeah. You don't check in with your mama, you're going to hear it. Well, I, you know, I get it all the time with my mom. Too. You know, my mom responds to me. If I don't send her something, she'll respond in every three days and say, are you okay? How's everything going? Oh, yeah. I got chewed out because, you know, sometimes the days would go by so fast that I wasn't paying attention. Mom, why haven't you checked on me? Why haven't you checked in? And I'm like, oh, crap. I got chewed out. You know, that type of thing. You know, <sighs> yeah. it's like. I don't know what it is, but sometimes with the society that, that thinks families aren't close, we are, you know. And so when I see things like that, I'm like, you don't know me. You don't know my family. Do you know what? I'm my bedroom. It's all my children hanging up on the wall. Oh, man. That's yeah. what I have on there. I have this big collage my daughter made in kindergarten, this little cute thing that she made, and it says, I am Jacqueline. And then I put all the little tiny you know, pictures around it. You know, my children are important to me. They're, you know, all over my room. What's some of the memories you have of uh, Jackie? Like some of the memories that you remember? Positive. Oh, uh, she just had that personality. I mean, she was daddy's girl. I mean, my husband. Yeah. Oh, my God. Those two were like two peas in a pot. You know, they were just so close. And... Oh God! I'm looking at a picture right now. I'm picking up the feather. There, she has a little piece of hair that she, in kindergarten, she uh, and so it's got little piece of thing that just hanging there, and she likes to twirl it. You know, I yeah. remember twirling that a lot and stuff like that. You know, she just, you know, it was her, and you know, whatever Fritz says about that, I'm Mama Chaperone. Because I never miss field trips with my girls. Oh, okay. And I'm the mama chaperone. Yeah. And it was kind of like being a single mom. And what I did for work was I was in the newspaper business for 25 years. Mm -hmm. So I was able to deliver papers and then take care of my kids. I mean, I I couldn't get government assistance at all. And it was very difficult. It was, oh, they're going to give me $25. It's just stupid because they're counting my vehicle, which is my work car. I mean, it was a mess. I just said, screw you people. <laughs> yeah. I just started eating, like, at the soup kitchen and people are daughter. I mean, she was very, very special, you know, because it was like, here I got a baby, you know, on my own, newborn and exhausted, you know, and trying to provide for the other kids. I mean, it was rough at the beginning, and... But, you know, all the things at church, oh, my God, people at church just absolutely mm-hmm. adored her and stuff, you know. Like, one of my girls, I can't remember which one, goes, I'm jealous of her. She's got this nice little tan and stuff like that. Yeah, you know? so you took her to church. My other two are, yeah, my other two are white, mm-hmm. and Jacqueline's biracial, so they're like, I'm jealous of her little tan. Yeah. <laughs> how, how, how's, your other, little, how's your other children dealing with this? They're not good. That's what I was telling you. My daughters are not doing good. Or do they have any plans to go to Florida to try to help look for her or try to do anything? Yeah. Uh, well, this, that's what I told you at the beginning. My daughter in Nevada has got two small children. And so we don't – see, my do- both my daughters, they have no money. None of us have money, you know. Yeah. And But my daughter in Nevada has two little ones. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me for a minute. And so she's dealing with a lot. Not only is her sister missing, her husband, mother, is going in for brain surgery. Oh, man. So it's like a double whammy. Yes. So it's, this is just awful. And then my oldest daughter, who also deals with the same thing I deal with. She actually had to go to her doctor, just like I did, to give her more medication to help her cope. And because we both are, we suffer, it it runs in my family. It's not to be ashamed of. 
you know, that there's depression and anxiety in our family. And so she's barely holding it together, too. So we're both barely holding it together. And we're just like, we get so burned out. Yeah, you know, and the, I spoke to Vanessa, who is Caribbean Kool-Aid, who put a video out on your daughter, and I'm going to put this out, too, to try to bring awareness to your daughter's <laughs> situation. Uh, we were talking about um, going down there, you know, because it's not far from us, and looking for your daughter, like maybe in the wooded area, right. the, the swamp area, you know, places that are nearby that um, her home, Joyce's home. But right. what concerns us is the amount of time before your daughter was reported missing. Oh, yeah. Oh, That's yeah. a month. That's and a month. Is, yeah. Now, I and this is their thing. I know that her very good friend, Melanie, it's a, I don't know if they've gone out there yet or, because mm -hmm. see, we have a GoFund page, okay? Mm -hmm. And I have to explain to people, this is to find her. And because it's like, I think Melanie got someone hired yeah. to put up flyers. And, and, that, and that's what I we plan to do. Everything. Yeah, that's what we plan to do, too. And after this call, definitely send me the GoFundMe because I'll post that, too. The GoFundMe link right. for anyone that wants to help and contribute in finding your daughter, um, you know, yeah. for, for, for supplies, really for flyers, <laughs> you know, to bring awareness in that situation. Boynton Beach. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, and the thing is, I'm full aware if my daughter, if I have to bury her, I, you know, I'm trying to keep my clo com well, stay optimistic. composure, but, you know, I'm going to need help with that, too. Yeah, st you know, stay optimistic. Bring her home. Stay optimistic. I mean, there's still hope that she's out there. Um, but oh, yeah. you want answers. Oh, yeah. But you want I know. answers. I, I, the reason I'm able to try to keep going is I had to deal with my husband this way. For a whole year before he passed, my husband had to go into a facility. So when he went into the facility, he was in and out of the hospital, but it t finally took a toll on my health where I couldn't, you know, because I don't have transportation. Mm -hmm. I had to do, it was just a long story, but it took a toll on me. It was like, he's here, but I also have to prepare for grieving because it could be a matter of time, you know. I was surprised he lived through 2019 because of how sick he is. Because what happened was he let himself go. He, We were like two peas in a pod, just like Jacqueline. And to be separated like that, it took a toll on him. And he just finally, you know, yeah. it just couldn't go on anymore. And so I was able to, I, I had to keep my composure. Because even after he passed, I had to deal with the government. Uh -huh. I had to, you know, and this is during the pandemic. Because, see, my husband's military is a yeah. Vietnam vet. Oh, thank and you for service. He's, he's, yeah, he's 14 and a half years older than me. And so I had to keep my composure because if I didn't, because I need I need care, I had to go through and file all this military paperwork. And do you know if it was so weird, but I was told it's normal. But when he was in the hospice and then when I got his death certificate, mm -hmm. if his death certificate wasn't related to what he gets, 100%, he's 100% service connect. Well, apparently they made me do more paperwork, but the facility told me this is common for military wives to go through this. This just tells you how bad our society is. Yeah. But it's like they were going to have to amend his death certificate in order to me to get my benefit. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. are you kidding? You know, I mean, this is the things that I've had to deal with my route. Yeah, you got a lot of now. things going on. Um, Jack, Jack, Jackie's birthday. Like, when when does when does she turn thirty one? April tenth. April tenth. Okay, so she just turned thirty. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, it's like I get my crying, I get my anxiety out, and then I'm like, okay, get my game face back on, time to work again. You know, and then I then I'll start crying again. What was it like my game face? Back. Like when she's not working, like what 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 are her hobbies? What does she like doing? Well, I do know that you know she loved doing modeling and stuff. That was really a big thing for her. Mm -hmm. You know, it was the modeling thing that was huge. And you know, 
and the other things out there, I just, you know, <laughs> I thought it was kind of inappropriate to put it on there. <laughs> one of her friends put one of those TikTok things on there, them dancing and her jiggling around, you know. It's like, okay. Yeah. Jiggling well, her little behind, you know. Yeah. I think that's... <laughs> You know, well, it, it, you know, it's, it's just it's just showing her personality, and you know. I, yeah, I know. That's why I'm thinking. You know, that's her having a little fun and things like that. But she was very grounded. I mean, she did have a boyfriend. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask you, friend. She had a boyfriend. Well, there I don't know, but I'm saying she had an ex-boyfriend. Mm-hmm. Um, I think they were together three, four years. But yeah, he's been trying to help whatever he can do. I mean, it's just... Where's he from? I'm trying to keep it straight. He's in Nevada. Okay, he, he's he's in Nevada, and... Uh, yeah. So he's not he's so, not even near okay. Florida. Yeah. Well, because he even said, this is not her. You know, what's going on? This is not her. I said, and everybody's saying that. You know, this is not her. This doesn't make sense. This doesn't, you know, at all. You know? Yeah, it's just a mystery. It, it's just, it's totally insane. Well, I'm going to pray for you again. I'm going to we're going to talk with Vanessa, Caribbean Kool-Aid, and we'll 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 go out there and try to find your daughter. We'll look around the area and scoop it up and I'll stay in contact and interview you again and see how you're doing and you know, we'll pray for you. We'll put the we'll put the message out there. I mean, and try to bring awareness and spotlight. Maybe it'll compel the police and the authorities down there to do something. Or at least come out with some more yeah. information instead of leaving and you in the you dark. And are you connected on my TikTok page? Um, I'll find it. Um, just send me the link to it, and I'll, I'll, I'll connect to it. Okay. Yeah, I'll send it over. And, you know, and hopefully but, police can give you. What else was I supposed to send you over? I'm sorry. I'm going blank. Oh, yeah, the GoFundMe link. Out. GoFundMe link so I can oh, share. Yeah. Okay. Got you. And then. Yeah, um, it, it just, <laughs> you know, it's like I don't want anybody's money. I want money to find my daughter. You know, it's like, it's, it's, that's what this is about. This is about finding my daughter and pray to God, whatever outcome, you know. I want my daughter alive, yeah. But, you know, I don't know. I, it's the unknown. It's, I, I'm praying that someone's not constantly hurting her if yeah. that's because she's kidnapped, you know. Yeah. That's the thing I worry about because of just because of who um, – you noticed the different looks of her, right? Yes, I saw multiple looks, yes. Yeah, and you notice, see how she changes a lot? It, yeah, and, yeah, I noticed the, that. And being biracial, mm-hmm. you know, she's darker during the um, summertime, and then she lightens up during the wintertime. Yeah. And, like, someone made a comment, I would have never known that was her, you know. It's just because of the way she changes, you know little atmosphere now there's one that was her um the aunt oh i just me and i want to shake that woman but she sent a picture of my daughter uh-huh does she always dress like this i'm like what the hell's your problem lady yeah She's 30 years old she is like wearing this you know kind of a t- Oh, I don't know what you call it. It's not, a, it's a half shirt, I guess, type. You know, still shows the bill or something like that. Mm-hmm. She dresses like that all the time. So what? I'm not there to judge my daughter. Are, you are, know? Is your family posting um, flyers on her on social media looking for her? You and her family? Or over there in um, Arizona? In Nevada? It's my, um, oh, over there? No, I haven't seen anything they've done over there. They're claiming, well, they're going this way. No. I'm on this thing 12 hours a day. I've not seen a damn thing from them. Wow. Um, Joy has an Instagram account, and she she's an idiot putting dumb comments on there because I read them and I save them. But on her account, not a single picture of my daughter trying to find her. And that's the last so person your daughter you was with. For? That's the last person your daughter was with. She reports your daughter missing a month after the fact. Uh, definitely something sketchy, and I, I will say that that's suspect. I mean, for sure, uh, behavior doesn't seem right. You know, I sent you a photograph with her, you know, holding a gun in a police uniform with handcuffs that looked very bizarre. Um, something's up. Something's up. Yeah, yeah. It, none of it, none of it makes sense. 
you know. And I already knew that she was kind of sketchy um, just because I talked to Denzel. I already knew that she was kind of, that's why we both were surprised that she went there. Um, because I already knew in advance because she went, um, the first time I ever talked to Joy many, many years ago, she had a hard time believing me at first that um, Jacqueline was his um, daughter. Oh, really? And I'm like, I know who I slept with. I know who, <laughs> he yeah. was the only black man I slept with. I know who my daughter is, you know? Yeah. She was kind of sketchy about me, thinking I'm lying about the whole thing, you know? When, when Joy was speaking to Dateline, telling her chain of events, how did Dateline get a hold of her? Did she go there voluntarily, or did date, Dateline like knock on her door or call her? Or? They met the um. Let's see, I <laughs> I probably gave maybe the phone number. Yeah. To Dateline, I don't care. <laughs> I'm just, no, you know you're what? trying to find your daughter, and you feel that Joy should be able to be more forthcoming. Oh, yeah, behavior. that just puts more pressure on her, you know, because now, did you see the CBS 13 interview? That was a joke. I did. Why? Why was it a joke? You noticed the big hat she was wearing? I don't remember, no. No, I mean, meaning I didn't even watch it, so tell me what happened. Uh, she made a statement and everything. I'll have to, let's see. It's just funny how she's wearing a hat trying vaguely trying to not get her disguise out there and I'm just like woman <laughs> oh she's trying to look differently for the interview you know yeah well yeah you only see the side of her you don't see the full face of her you know yeah. and I'm just like are you trying to hide I mean see, you don't want people to really see your face you know what's disturbing is you know that's a month before she reports missing if something happened to your daughter inside her home I mean, she had time to clean up anything, any type of evidence. Oh, yeah, that that's the thing that kills me the most, you know. She had time to do, take away any, and the other thing is she's trying desperately to have the focus turned away from her as much as possible. And I'm like, why, you know, because she doesn't want her life being invaded or, you know, it's just like, holy Toledo lady. What is your problem, you know? Oh, man, I'm so sorry. I, I just, it, it, you know, you're making yourself look like the suspect, you know? If yeah. you're not a suspect, then why'd you wait? And why are we having these problems? Because now if something major happened, you waited and we didn't get that chance to find my daughter. And this is on you. You did this, not me. And I'm like, you know, oh, you so need to get your... Act together. So you feel she's guilty either way for just waiting long time to report your daughter missing? Well, yeah, that's the problem I'm having right now. Yeah. I mean, I don't like to pinpoint fingers, but, you know, I'm a little irritated because this should have never been like this. If they had a fight, she didn't come back, why in the hell did you not report her? That's what I don't understand. With her stuff you still know? in the house. And yeah, and her stuff is still there, and I'm thinking to myself, okay, so she has my daughter's stuff, but they can't do anything unless there's a, you know, something really bad happened. And I'm like, holy Toledo, are you freaking kidding me? So we're gonna wait until my daughter's found dead before you do anything with her? <laughs> and it's, I'm flabbergasted, you know, that these people are doing this. I'm sorry, I, I Jack. I don't understand it. You know, why in the world are they? <laughs> I, it just a lot of unanswered questions, and it's just it's flat out irritating. And I'm, you know, don't understand these people. Stay, stay strong. You know? Um. All right, we'll be in touch. Um, send me that information, and we will. Uh, I'll, I'll keep you informed of anything that I find our way. Cause I'm in Florida. Vanessa's in Florida. We're pretty close. Yeah, so. I'm trying to find out this. Hold on. I'm trying to find that station circa. Oh, let's see. I think it was 13. Yeah, because um, I know that um, with. Um, oh, okay, brain think. I, I know, like, when you go on the internet, you put her name in, she's all over the place. Yeah. 
Yeah, I I'm saw I saw a few articles. I, that's how I that's why I sent you the you know about Joy because I was just straight up honest with you and asked you your thoughts on Joy. Does it seem just oh, seem yeah, the situation is, was fishy to me? Oh, it's CBS twelve and here. Hold on. You see, he's got to get it pulled up here. I don't want to see you. I want to see this. Okay, here it is. Let me get you on the speaker. Make sure everything is loud. Hmm. Okay. Come on. Uh, no, don't direct me over there. Do it. I hate when I keep messing up on the phone. And just, I'm like, I'm learning. Oh, I've never been a tech person, you know. And yeah. See, everything, everything is on my tablet. A lot of the old, older so, generation, my mother, you know, she doesn't know much about computers and technology. Oh, my God. I had to learn how to use um, TikTok, and people tell me if you do this and this, and I'm like, oh, really? Okay, why? Well, from our there it is. area, and police say she was last seen over a month ago in Boynton Beach. Yeah, tonight, Arlena Salzbank speaking to the missing woman's mother about the circumstances behind her disappearance. That social media push is being spearheaded by family and friends from across the country. Her mother lives in Arizona, her sister lives in Nevada, and her friends in L.A. Now, they say they haven't seen or heard from their friends since June 1st. Jackie Reyes has always been close with her mother and two sisters. So when the weeks went by without a phone call from her daughter, Jacqueline Reyes, started to worry. I am trying to hold it together. You know, because the longer these days go, it makes you wonder if something, really, you know, bad happened. Jackie's lifelong friend, Genevieve Sifling, says they grew up in Flagstaff, Arizona, and Jackie was passionate about music. Jackie was just always, like, such a bright light, um, always inviting. That music brought her to L.A., but in January, she decided to head to Florida. Her biological father lives in Oklahoma. He was gravely ill. We thought it was bizarre that she went to go live with his sister, the aunt. Jackie moved in with her aunt here in Boynton Beach, who she had only met a handful of times in the past, but started to settle in. She was working a lot and trying to, and she was going to school online. Joy Sharp, Jackie's aunt, says her missing niece was dealing with some anxiety, but always kept in touch with her mother and friends back home. But then she was gone. I don't think she would choose not to speak to her mom because she spoke to her mother quite often. Sharp says her clothing and belongings are her home in Boynton Beach, but she did leave with her computer and her cell phone, which keeps going to voicemail. Please leave your message for CJ. Now it's unclear who CJ is on that voicemail, but that is the number that friends say they have been using to reach Jackie in the past. Now the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office says that they currently are investigating and anyone with information is asked to please call Crime Stopper is in Boynton Beach on Lena Salt Bank. Yeah, thank you for so sharing that. that. Was but and the thing is that phone <laughs> is that when she said CJ or whatever, you could tell that it's Joy's phone um voice. Oh that's Joy's phone. That's Joy's voice. Yeah, that phone they were just calling, yeah. that was Joy's phone that um she let Jacqueline use. Oh, okay. All right. Because she didn't have, yeah, Jackie didn't have a phone. So, um, like I said, it was because of that big screw up that she did with the, with the rental. I don't know all the exact details, but um, <clears throat> uh, the phone um, was, um, is that one. And then when they called it, it go, and that's what I and then that's what it gave me the other day too, DJ. And I could tell it really sounds like Joy's voice. I don't know who CJ is. Yeah. But you could tell it kind of sounds like her, you know, and it's just it's kind of frustrating, you know. And I'm just So the voicemail is do you call it every day still? Not every day, no. I called it yesterday yeah, yesterday. And it still goes to voicemail. Uh, I think it's 
full. I think the voicemail's full. That's because you guys probably been leaving messages or other people. <clears throat> and it's not Yeah, checked. I mean, it's just, you know. But I wonder where that phone is thing. right now. Like, you think it could be pinged? You know, and I, that's what's so weird. Like I told you, when her friend who does this special app uh, said it pinged off around where she was living. So that's interesting. Like it was ditched somewhere, thrown somewhere, maybe in the woods, in the river. That's what I'm thinking, you know. Which would make it even more suspicious. Well, stay optimistic. We'll be in touch. Thanks for the conversation. I'm going to share the story, share what's going on, and uh, keep awareness on your daughter. Uh, don't give up. Yeah, I'm not. I am I refuse to stop doing videos until she's found because I know if I stop doing my video, she's going to be another black person in a cold case. Yeah. I mean, well, we'll do our- I don't want to sound right. But, you know, I am a little pissed that the black people aren't treated as the same. And it makes me angry because when I'm reading the comments, they're talking about this Gabby, whatever. Why is my daughter not getting this kind of attention when we got a true crime, something happened? You yeah. know, you're talking about Gabby I mean, Petito, right? Right, right. And here we got a big story right now. It is not getting no attention. And that doesn't make sense. Somebody yeah. is not doing my daughter justice. And I'm fighting tooth and nail. You know, it's like, oh, and the other thing, when I told the, the sheriff about, you know, because I didn't like the way it was handled on the first, well, you could call this our right or whatever it was, um, if you want to file a complaint. Oh, wow. And I'm like... Really? Are you people that ignorant? You know? Yeah, that's kind of disrespectful. It's like, oh, if you don't like it, then just follow a complaint against me. You know what I mean? Right. You know? And it's like, I have to keep defending her, too, because she is not a drug addict. She is a very... She, so, she was almost a straight-A student in school. Oh, that's good. And she has a little personality. Like, she likes to show my head with you. But it's just her little personality. And because um, she's not stupid. She's she's smarter than Mama. What, what, did she, I mean, did, I struggle. Was she on social media, your daughter? Apparently, you know, when they're black. This, I just found this out. You know, when Black Lives Matter uh -huh. situation? Yeah. She happened to be in L.A., and she was so burned out that she stopped. She just deleted everybody and got out of social media. Oh, well, she why was she so burned out? By burn out why? Now, she does, have a, she does have a Facebook page, but there's only like 12 friends on it. But, what yeah, do you mean she, she was out on Facebook. Why was she burned out? Oh, uh, she was burned out from the social media. She didn't want to see it anymore. Oh, okay. Why? What? It just was just... Yeah, they, yeah the black... Well, you know, I had that girlfriend, um, one of her friends, friends, it was like a social media cleansing, you know, trying to take a break. Yeah. You know, from all of it, you know, because it was like overwhelmed. And I can imagine anybody in that situation was overwhelmed with so much of the Black Lives Matter situation, you know. Yeah. I mean, it's, we live in America. I don't understand. I'm, I'm sorry. It's just, man, it makes me angry. It really does. You know, we live in America, and if you got a true missing person, you need to do your job. You know, I, you know one of the things job. are, exactly, and you know, I think the police should be way, way, way more transparent and open with you about how they're dealing with this and how they're trying to find your daughter. Like, constant communication. You know, there was an art, you know, and this is their explanation. Um... They are widening the search out to Miami and and Dell. Is that I don't is that right? Say that city again. Yeah, my, or Miami and Dell. Yeah, D uh, Dade County. Yeah, yeah. They widen their search out to those areas, and the explanation was because Miami has a big hub. I'm like, okay, what's that mean? You know, so you widen your search. 
none of it makes sense. Well, keep keep on them. Keep on them. Keep sending them messages. Keep, oh, you know that. Yep, I am. All right. Stay strong. We'll be in touch. Thanks for the All conversation, right. Jackie. Stay strong. I'll be praying All for right, you. Thank, All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a great day. You too.